Hey guys, got a cool, cool thing I want to talk about today. Uh, sponsor of this video is Clan HQ. And if you guys are unfamiliar, what Clan HQ is, is a messaging app. But what is amazing about it is that it has tons and tons and tons of cool features, including integrations for all your favorite games. It makes it even easier to find people you go they have this tab right here recruiting you click on this you can look around there's some ads here looking for members looking for groups but then it gets really crazy you click on the search you go ahead in here and you say oh this just looks like a regular search but bam you pick marvel strike force come in here and you can look for people based on all of these values so imagine imagine being able to find somebody who say man i just want somebody who's above 3.5 million total collection power and you don't even have to like get them to send you screenshots or anything else. You just type it in here and it pulls up the whole list. It is amazing. If you're interested in this, I think it is amazing. And you guys want to get in on it, please do. It is uh, Clan HQ, got it on Android and Apple products. They're amazing. Hello, friends and family and brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, daddies and mommies. Hello. I was streaming last night and we had this great idea to make a video, but I'm not going to tell you about what it is because I have to ask you our deep thinking question of the day. The real question. Here's the question. <coughs> <coughs> All right. The, <coughs> the question I'm pondering that I cannot figure out the answer to. And I just, you know, last time we had a lot of good responses, you know, and it was really good. And I just, I really felt like it was great. But now I'm pondering a new question. And I can't shake it. How do you throw away a trash can? Because I don't know. What do you do with it when it's done? You put it in another trash can? How do you throw away that trash can? Is there an unlimited set of trash cans in the world that you can just forever throw them away? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the answer to that question. And it really bothers me because I've been sitting here thinking about it for 10 minutes and I don't know what, to, how do you do it? I'm stressed. So let me know how you throw away trash cans in the comments. Um, last time I asked for only wrong answers, um, but I don't know the answer to this one. So only right answers. Only tell the truth in the comments. If you lie, I'll come and find you. Even though I don't know how to throw away a trash can, any answer could be true. Last night on the stream, we were talking about, um, huh, yeah, I do still stream. <laughs> we were talking about uh, like maybe like making like a counter series and just trying to figure out like what team beats what, how it works, how you play it. And while this game doesn't really have like a mode in which I can do that very easily, for example, what I mean is like, I can't really go in here and be like, all right, I'm going to take this team and I'm going to fight this team. Now, Blitz is the closest thing to that, of course. We all know that. If you're watching this video, you already know that. But like, so if I want to say, oh, what, what team's counters aim? Well, I can't go in. There's no mode that I can go into and just play and be like, all right, well, I'm going to take aim against this team. I'm going to take aim against this team. I'm going to take aim against this team. So I'm hoping eventually, maybe part of the way through this series, I want to do it for every meta team. Oh my gosh. I have the hiccups, boys. I'm going down. Whew. But I want to do it for every meta team. It would be nice, like a counter series for every meta team, but it's hard because I can't fight them. So I can talk about it. And that's what I'm at least going to do for this first video. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully we'll get, you know, maybe eventually one day Fox Next will give us uh, content creators access to a test server. Uh, they keep talking about it, but nothing so far. But let me know uh, after you guys watch this video. If you find it helpful, let me know. Um, because if I'm just talking about it, I don't know if it will be. But yeah, let me know feel right now that the most just important team that everybody wants to know how to counter, so we're going to start off with this one, is a Colson Shield team. And I've got a handy graphic here. Um, if you guys haven't seen this before, you need to check it out. It's on my Discord. I didn't make it, but it was made by somebody named Flash44. He's in the pants of Hulk conglomerate, whatever. Um, but he made this graphic, and it's awesome. 
it has all kinds of stuff on here. So this is what kind of, I'm going to be kind of going off of this, but also be just giving my own thoughts and my own suggestions as well with it. So as far as Colson Shield goes, I mean, we know right now, like, I don't know, like when I first got them set up, I didn't really think they were that impressive because I ran them in Blitz and Colson just always died and I didn't really feel like he did anything. Now, as you can see, my Colson, oh, other side, hey, um, <laughs> my Colson, I have six red stars on him. He's all right, you know, level 65, tier 11. It's hard, only at four star. I would love to get him to tier 13, but I've run out of ABCs, and that's pretty annoying. I don't have any orange materials on him just yet, but those will be coming shortly. But I ran them in Blitz, and I wasn't super impressed with them, and then I just kind of realized that, you know, his power level is so much different than the rest of the team. I mean, I've got 69,000 in Nick Fury, 57,000 Shield Security, 46,000 Shield Medic, uh, you know, 42,000 Shield Assault. So him being at 34, I mean, he's nearly... 20,000 power on average lower than the rest of the team so that's kind of rough and um I could probably run it better with like Quake Hawkeye those type of people but I haven't done that yet and um I've just put him on war defense and it seems like so that's what I'm getting at on war defense he's really hard to beat and so I struggle with that now in blitz I don't think he's so hard to beat but in war defense he's a lot harder to beat so side note I don't really appreciate characters being added to the game that are bad in other modes now somebody's probably gonna be in the comments and be like oh blah, 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 max him out he's amazing okay whatever fine okay you're probably right and so i'm not like crapping on him i just haven't had great experiences with him yet but when it comes to defense because there's people in these higher up alliances that have him like totally maxed out and it's crazy it's crazy hard you really have about three teams that can beat this team so the first team is x-men right so they can punch up a bit so i don't know i mean 20 to thirty thousand. it just kind of depends it really just depends on the matchup the t4s that you have the t4s that they have now like if you're using like you you really need the team to be maxed out so uh, that's x-men that's just full x-men team you know the good old boys uh you know psylocke phoenix this this gang you know because they get all the bonuses and stuff so but i mean they need to be like equal levels right so like this team would probably not beat a maxed out shield team because my phoenix is really strong but the rest of my team is not very good so now maybe one day whenever you know colossus and psylocke become farmable then maybe that will be different but for this team it's interesting because i don't know if you have them maxed out if you have them really strong you got tons of t4s on them but you need the whole team to be built up now again unless you're fighting like a wonky like probably like shield colson team like i have this probably would beat i mean not psylocke of course and Colossus is a little low, but Phoenix is really high. But this could probably at least get really close to beating the Colson team that I have. But it just really depends. You're going to have to play that matchup. Um, like I said, they can punch up maybe in between 15 and 30,000 points. But it just depends. I mean, you have to have the team set up correctly. So obviously you need T4s on um, Colossus, Phoenix. I don't think you need any for Wolverine, Storm, or Psylocke. But you need those important ones on those guys, which are, you know, we already know what those are. I've made videos on those before. And so that's kind of where that's the main like hard counter to that team like they're going to win. But uh, uh, there's two soft counters in my opinion. We've got one on this graphic and one that I've found out. And on this graphic he also has Brotherhood listed as a team to use against the Colson teams. I thought that I mean my Brotherhood team's pretty good, but for me I tried to punch up and it did not work at all. And so what he advises on this graphic and what I advise now out of personal, just personal, I guess, experience is you definitely can't punch up. You can probably equal power or punch down. So he's saying that you could really punch down maybe like, I don't know, like, again, 15 to 30,000 and you could win. But I don't know if that's like guaranteed win. I don't know. When I did it, they were, like I said, a, a bit stronger, 20 to 30,000 stronger. And I thought that I would be able to beat them, but I could not. And the problem is there's so much immunity that gets put out when Coulson's on the team is that you can still, like, you can grab them and move them together with Magneto, but you can't blind them. And that's like the big reason why Brotherhood is a counter to this team to begin with. But then when they've got, you know, you kind of have to do it, but then you waste the blind, but you also like bring them all adjacent and it's nice. But I don't know. It's interesting. But if you're stronger, you can do it. You still grab them, bring them all together. And then you go from there and just pound them with all of your, you know, adjacent attacks and whatnot. And that can do it. That is uh, something that I've tried. I haven't had a ton of success with it, but I've seen it work. So that is, again, a soft counter. So beyond that, there is one more team that I'm going to share with you guys. And that is, I don't know if you guys are going to believe this, but uh, our boys over at the Sinister Six, now, you might be saying, like, oh, like, I don't believe that. And so, I mean, it, it does, they do have to be, 
strong. Like they've got to be probably like, again, you got to punch down a bit, like probably around 30,000 plus punch down. And you need like good T4s, like T4s on Rhino's passive. You need them on, I believe, Shocker's special and ultimate. But those other ones that I mentioned would be really helpful. And that's not like, don't go put those on here and be like, well, come so to do this, I'll be able to beat this team. It's very like hit or miss, but it can work. If, like if you're out of options, like if you're just like, I don't know, we got to beat this team or we're going to lose the war. Like tossing your Sinister Six, I would be surprised if they didn't beat them. Now, again, they need to be about equal. I mean, they need to be stronger, right? So they need to be stronger than the team. It's not going to be like, oh, we're equal power. or Oh, they're 10,000 stronger than me. You're not going to win. But if you're stronger, so my... Sinister Six team is like 190,000 power. Well, so if I'm fighting like a Coulson team, that's like 160. Maybe, maybe 170, but really like 160. And that, it would be up in the air, but I think you could win that one. Now, give it a try. See for yourself. I wish that we could test more of this stuff. I wish that, like, especially when it's stuff like in war, it's like, well, how do we test this? Because you don't want to waste an attack, but you also, like, want to test it and know. So, again, hopefully I'll get access to a uh, test account soon, and we'll figure it out from there because I'll test all kinds of stuff, upload videos all the time for you guys. That's one thing that I struggle with is just not really knowing, like, what can I test? What can I do? So, that said, those are three counters, one hard counter, two soft counters, two Coulson shield teams. I would love to show you guys gameplay, but I simply don't have it, and there's no way to produce it right now. So, if you guys are interested at all, if there's anyone who is interested in sending in gameplay for future versions of this uh, series for the counters uh, reach out to me and um, I'll let you guys know if you've seen this graphic before I do plan on making uh, just a tab for every team uh, or a video for every team and so we'll do it that way all right so we're going in we're gonna make it happen I appreciate you guys um, like I said everybody who came and hung out on stream yesterday it had been a long time since I streamed but it was a lot of fun so if you guys were there it was great and I appreciate you guys with the support and the subs and everything else. You guys are awesome. So this is going to be it, like I said, for today. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Leave a like on this video if this helped you out. And uh, share it with your friends. And uh, yeah, leave a comment with your experience if there's maybe another team that you have liked that's worked against Colson. I'd love to hear about it. Catch you later.